Welcome back everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And this might be quite a good one to start off with because it's questions and answers about myself, a kind of get to know me video. I put an Instagram story out at the weekend asking if there's anything that you would like to know about me and go ahead and ask me some questions. So let's have a little look in my book. I had so many questions. I honestly wasn't expecting to get so many. I'm really sorry if I have missed any of your questions out, but if you do like this kind of video, let me know, give it a thumbs up and I can do another one. So let's have a look. Let's start off with, how old are you and what's your favorite plant at the moment? I am 37 years old and I'd have to say that my favorite plant right at the moment is probably my Caladium Red Flash. It has brought me so much joy over the summer. It is big, bright, bold, beautiful. It's still going, it hasn't gone dormant yet. The biggest leaf did fall off, so we've lost that leaf, but it's still going and oh, I'll attach a picture of it anyway. It's beautiful. Someone else asked what my star sign is. I am an Aries. Do you celebrate Halloween? Yes, I absolutely love Halloween. I love autumn. I love this time of year, kind of October up until Christmas. I just find it really cozy, magical, festive. I just, I love it. So I decorate my home for autumn. Things like pumpkins, autumn leaves, fairy lights, fir cones. And then when it gets to Halloween, I will decorate my house for Halloween. I do have a party every year, so I do go a bit mad with the old decorations and you will see a Halloween tour from me soon, which brings me to another question. Will you be releasing a Halloween video and your creativity is fantastic? Thank you very much. And yes, I'm super excited to film my Halloween video. Obviously that'll be next week. Keep your eyes peeled for that one. What are your top three prayer plants? Hmm, that's a tough one because I've got so many. I'd have to say probably my Calathea orbifolia, um, Calathea mosaica, also known as network. I just find that a really hardy Calathea. I would say if you're gonna choose any Calathea, go for the mosaica just because it's so easy to care for. And the leaves are quite kind of firm and I just feel like it's not quite as fragile as some of the other Calatheas. And lastly, my Maranta Lecanura Fascinator Tricolor. Okay, the next question is, what's your job? P.S. Your videos inspire me so much. And then someone else asked, what do you do for a living? I love your home, by the way. Thank you very much. I am a cosmetic tattooist and I've been doing that for about seven years now. I basically tattoo on eyebrows, lips and eyeliner, mainly eyebrows for those that have kind of lost their eyebrows due to having cancer and chemotherapy, alopecia, or just from literally plucking them out in the 90s, which most of us did. And yeah, giving people their confidence back basically. I absolutely love my job and I really can't imagine doing anything else. Well, apart from YouTube, of course. I have had some really random jobs over the years. When I first left university, I was a full-time sculptor. I was sculpting Disney models, DreamWorks, and Warner Brothers, and it was such a fun job, and I worked with some really lovely people. I did some architectural model making. I worked in a school for quite a while in the design technology department. I have worked in a chemistry lab. I am also trained to do non-destructive testing, which is basically testing welds. So the welder would come and weld the pipes together and then I'd go and test the weld to make sure that there's no holes or cracks in it. Yes, really random. And that's not something I'm gonna be doing in the future. <laughs> Next question, any plants you don't enjoy? Hmm, I enjoy all plants to be honest. Oh, I did write on here, currently any plants that have thrips on them. <laughs> Bloody thrips, they are a nightmare, but we won't get into that now. I guess I'm not particularly interested in succulents, she says with a succulent on the coffee table. To be honest, I bought that because of the pumpkin pot. 
sorry. I do enjoy some succulent type plants like the string of hearts and the string of pearls, things like that, but that's about it really. Okay, the next question is, what about your family? You never mention a partner or children and someone else asks, are you married? No, I'm not married. I have a boyfriend and I don't have any children. They're not for me personally. I think my plants and my birds are enough for me. And actually my close family, my mum and dad and my brother, they all live in Australia. I did actually go out and live there for a few years um, and I really enjoyed it, but it's extremely hard to get a visa. Even if your family are living there, that doesn't mean you can get a visa. My mum and dad aren't on a permanent visa, they're on a retirement visa. Um, but I'm hoping to go out and visit them after Christmas, which I am super excited about. Do you live alone? If you live with someone, how does he or she like living with so many plants? So I bought this house about two years ago now and my boyfriend lives here with me. And hmm, what would he say about my plants? To be fair, he's quite laid back about the plants and he's very supportive of my YouTube channel. So I don't think the plants really bother him. The next question is about my birds, my beloved birds. Tell us a little more about Marvin and Monster. So Monster is a budgie and she is six years old. She's pretty chilled out. She likes to keep herself to herself. Although Monster can be really playful sometimes. I'll attach a little video of her playing. The ball is so cute. I love how birds are so playful. People don't realize how playful they can be. My other bird, Marvin, who is two and a half years old, he loves to just follow me around everywhere, literally. I'm in the bath and he's sat there waiting for me to get out the bath. I'm in bed, he's snuggled up with me in bed. He's really cuddly and really cute. And actually, I just taught him to do a little trick recently, which I'll try and get him to do on camera. I have to bribe him over with his favorite treat. Do you like a cashew nut, buddy? Hello? You gonna do a trick for me? All right, you go on there. Can you spin? Oh, good bird, can you do another one? Can you do another one? One more, one more. Oh, you're a good bird. That's his little trick. And now he's gonna make a mess everywhere. The next question is, what part of the UK do you live in? I am currently living near Winchester in the south of the UK, but I did grow up in Bournemouth by the beach. What has been the plant that unexpectedly grew on you the most? From being eh to ooh. <laughs> Thank you Zaheer for that question, my friend and fellow YouTuber. His YouTube channel is called Plants and Paints, you definitely need to check him out. He really knows his stuff and he's got an awesome collection of plants. I would have to say my silver satin pothos just because it has grown so much over the past year. I don't know how long it is, but it's literally going round the top of the room now. I will attach some footage of it. And I actually noticed this morning that it's um, attached itself to the wall and it's growing up the wall. It's crazy, but I love it. When I first got it, I thought, oh yeah, that's a nice hanging plant. But actually now it, it does look really awesome now that it's really gone wild with the old trailing. Are you ever afraid you will lose your passion for plants? No, I don't think I'll lose my passion for plants. I can't imagine my home without plants. I've always had plants in my home. Yes, maybe I'll change the plants that I have in my home, but no, I don't think I'll lose my passion for them. Only the ones that I can't keep alive. <laughs> okay, the next question is, what kind of editing program do you use and are you happy with it? I just use iMovie and I'm happy with it. It's quite easy to use, it's pretty basic. I probably should get some higher end editing software, but for now I'm quite happy with iMovie and I just use my iPhone for filming. Why are you fascinated with tropical plants when you are in a winter country? It's not that bad in the UK, come on now. I actually think that's one of the reasons why I love tropical plants so much, just because people don't associate the UK with tropical plants so I kind of see it as a challenge it's something a bit different and yeah I mean why not bring a bit of the tropics to the UK what is your favorite makeup line 
Oh gosh, I love my makeup. Um, let's think. I use so many different products, but one of the brands that I've been using for many years is Urban Decay. I absolutely love their eyeshadows and I really want to try out the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation because I've heard really good things about that. Also their eyeliners are really good. Are there any plants you feel aren't worth the hype? I'm going to have to say the Obliqua. I'm just not that interested in it to be honest and I would just worry so much about keeping it alive because they cost so much money. I mean, I, I'd love to admire someone else's obliqua. I like looking at pictures of them, but I personally wouldn't want one myself and I'm not really that bothered if I have one or not. If someone gave me one, I wouldn't say no, but yeah, sorry obliqua. Also, the variegated Adansoni, the prices they go for are just ridiculous. I have enough trouble keeping my Adansoni happy, so I can't imagine trying to keep one of those happy. They are really beautiful though. What's your favourite coffee additive? I like black and semi-sweet. I love iced coffee, especially like vanilla, iced latte, or if I'm going for something hot, I'll go for like pumpkin spice latte, caramel or vanilla. Macchiato is quite nice. Oh, I really fancy a coffee now. Favourite plant of all time? That's a really difficult question. I'm just trying to picture all my plants in my head and I'm thinking which one do I like the best? But that is such a difficult question. Also I'm hoping to get some new plants that are on my wish list soon as well. So. I always change my mind of what plant is my favourite, but for now I'm going to have to say my Calathea orbifolia. This is the plant that kind of got me into Instagram and YouTube in the first place. So I'm going to have to give some credit to this beautiful plant. As most of you know, this plant did have thrips in the summer, so I literally had to cut it right back to the soil level, it had no leaves whatsoever. So all these leaves are brand new, but I still am having a little bit of an issue with thrips on some of my other plants. So I'm really hoping it doesn't get any more, but that is another story. So my next question is, do you live by yourself? If yes, what kind of meals do you cook? I don't live by myself, my boyfriend lives here with me, but to be fair, we cook our own meals, we cook separately. He he likes kind of gym food, high protein and all that. And I just love, I just love food to be honest. What have I written here on my list? Roast dinners. I've been addicted to roast dinners recently. Oh my God, I love roast dinners so much. Roast potatoes. I, I would just be happy with a plate of roast potatoes. Um, fish um, with salad and sweet roast potato. Roast sweet potato. <laughs> Uh, veggie chilli, um, soups and stews, although I did have a bit of an accident making cream of mushroom soup recently. I'll attach some photos. It didn't end well and I will not be making it again. <laughs> okay, which plant kickstarted your collection? For me it was a ZZ plant. For me, I think the plant that actually kickstarted my whole crazy obsession with plants would be my Maranta. I remember seeing it in Haskins and thinking, wow, that is an interesting looking plant and I'd never seen anything like it before. And that was it. If you could choose one plant for the garden, what would it be? Well, you can't beat a tree fern, that's all I can say. How did you first get involved with birds? What are the special challenges and rewards of living with them as pet companions? I've always loved birds. I just think they're so beautiful. My birds are pretty lucky. They are out all day. I just leave the cage doors open. I work from home. They're really funny. I love their individual personalities. My birds are so different. They make me laugh so much. They're really cute. They are smart, you can teach them tricks. I do plan on teaching Marv some more tricks soon. 
Challenges, I would say they can be quite noisy and obviously birds poop everywhere. So I'm constantly cleaning. I've always got a pack of baby wipes on hand, but to be fair, it doesn't really bother me. It probably would bother some people, but I love my birds and I couldn't be without them. Oh, and they can hold a grudge. If I go away for the weekend and leave Marvin, especially Marvin, with someone, um, when I come back, he will ignore me or he'll be really angry. He won't let me go near him for usually between a few hours and a whole day, depending on how long I've been away for. But he's all right, he forgives me after a while. What are some other hobbies you have? I love crafts, painting, photography. I was into fitness last year, but this year's been a bit low on the old fitness. Hopefully I'll get back into that next year. I love traveling to different places, although I haven't actually been away anywhere like substantial for about three years now, but I'm planning to go out to Australia next year and possibly even America. I love DIY. What do you consider a true trustworthy relationship with a friend? And also I would like to know what your number one biggest pet peeve is. And that is from my friend and fellow YouTuber, Emily, lovely lady. I'll link my friend's YouTube channels below for you. Okay, so what did I write for this one? Someone who is there for you through ups and downs, takes the time out to listen to your problems, makes the effort to spend time with you, someone who you can rely on and tell them your deepest, darkest secrets, not be judged and know they won't tell anyone if you have asked them not to. And I'd have to say my number one biggest pet peeve is probably clutter, clutter and mess. I hate mess. I'm constantly cleaning. I feel like my mind is not clear until the house is spotless. A few other things, people being late or early and loud noise in the mornings. Oh, I hate it. Like the noise of plates and cups like being put on the side or in the dishwasher when it's really early and it's meant to be all peaceful and cozy. Oh no, it's nothing worse. So I had quite a few questions on kind of how I care for plants, how I got into plants. I did make a video at the beginning of the year on how I got into plants, which I'll link below for you. Although I could do an updated one and yeah, I suppose I could uh, film a plant Q&A, which is dedicated to plants. Because this video is more about kind of getting to know me and if you had any questions specifically about me. Although obviously there's a few plant ones mixed in there. I really hope you enjoyed the video. It's something a bit different and I love watching these myself. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more videos like this, just let me know. Take care, everyone. Have a great week. And I'll see you next week for my Halloween tour. Bye, everyone.